Hola y buenas noches. Mi llamo es Samuel, el super cocinero. <risa> y estoy feliz de ser su anfitrón de la livecast Sam. Wow. Hello and good evening. Wow. I'm Sam the cooking guy. Bienvenidos. And I'm happy to be here as the host of the Sam livecast. That's pretty good, huh? And you're a super cocinero. Hola. Hola y buenos noches. That's my favorite. Hola y buenos noches. My throat's a little wrecked from this weekend. I think it's a hola y buenos noches. I think the changing seasons are hitting us Mi all. Mi amo es hard. Samuel, okay. el super cocinero. The seasons are changing what? Huh? Huh? Doesn't the seasons changing affect your allergies? I mean, from a, for a lot of people? I well, I know. I think that's... Mm, Am I wrong about no, that? I think, I don't know. I I've think never you're, really I think you're, No, I think you're right when it comes to spring. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know about this stuff. Okay. Who knows about this stuff? Anybody here? Nope. Well, I heard on the news that the change in the pressures of the atmosphere is going to cause your allergies to act up this morning. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Oh, so maybe you're right. Hola y buenas noches. Mi amo Samuel, el super cocinero. So for those that might not know, <laughs> Sam was in Mexico this weekend, I spent, which is probably the reason that he's speaking Spanish. I spent the weekend in Tijuana. Mm -hmm. And by the way, there's no A in it. It's not Tijuana. It's, are you sure? Like every fucking newscaster in this town says. Yeah, it's bad. This afternoon in Tijuana, don't I sound like a tool? Yes, you do sound like a tool because you don't know how to pronounce it. There's no A. It's Tijuana. Hola. Hey, buenas noches. <laughs> Mi amo es Sam, the cooking guy. Yeah. Uh, so I was in Tijuana for the Tijuana Innovadora, or Tijuana Innovation Conference. Mm -hmm. Which, can Which, you maybe, can you explain? Go yeah, into a little a, more so, depth about what it is. So they, they did this. They, this is only the second time they've done this. First time was in 2010. Mm hmm when they uh, invite, really invited the world to Tijuana to see what the region was capable of doing, what kind of stuff they were involved in. Hey, in there you are. Oh. And, no, keep on that page. Uh -huh. You were there. I saw you on the front. Yeah, I think it will scroll through. I might be there hey, for you the... you can keep uh, talking, though. So, uh, you know, technology, innovation, industry, creativity, medicine, science, culinary, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Steve Wozniak is going to be there. Oh, wow. Uh, Wednesday. Uh, Blake, wait, is. Mike Kosky, oh, the founder the of Tom Shoes, is going to be there this week. Wow. They ex they're expecting almost a million people. It's crazy. And they had the super cocinero. And they had yeah, the super cocinero <laughs> right here. So Saturday, I went Friday afternoon. There was a dinner Friday night at um, Mission 19. I don't know how to, how do you say there 19 you in Spanish? There On I am, the look at Look at, there I am with uh, Marcella Veladolid from the Food dapper. Network. Thank wow. you. I dress up. I know how to put on nice shit when I have to do nice you things. You do. So I was with Marcella and uh, Marcella Veladolid. We were the MCs for this cross-border Iron Chef type competition. Nice. It was really exciting. It was really, really exciting. Yeah, that's They cool. had an hour. They didn't know what they were supposed to make. And then she and I did a panel discussion, the two of us, about about. Uh, cooking on TV and what it's like and how you get there and stuff like that. I just have to say, I mean, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time talking about it. I have some pictures I'm going to show you. I have to say the spirit of that city left me honestly amazed and dying to go back. I had an amazing time and everybody there, everybody that was involved with this and even people that weren't that I just met basically said this. Tell people how great a time you're having here in Tijuana yeah. and bring them back. That's what it is. Look, I wrote a, 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 an article that will be in the Union Tribune Thursday sort of about this. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, clearly Mexico's had some issues, right? Yes. Violence issues. And, and, and Tijuana, same thing. But staying away is like staying away from Denver because of what happened in that movie theater in Aurora. It's just not right. There's great people there. There's amazing stuff going on. And really, this is the largest, what do they call it, cross? This is the largest border metropolitan re, uh, region in the world, I think is what the number I heard. The, the combination of population has been between TJ and San Diego. There's more business that goes on here, more people than anywhere else in the world. 
Wow. For a cross-border relationship. It's unbelievable. I have some pictures. Shall we look at them? Hell yes. So they're completely random. These are just things that I saw or had. Look at this. Max saw this on my screen. You know what these are? You can guess. Okay, wait. Now. Okay. Why am I not hearing Lynn very well? Oh, he. Are you guys sharing? No. Nope. We can't really. I mean, we can. There. Wow. No, that's okay. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, it's because of our guest. Mm hmm. We got to figure this Damn out. Damn it. Man. Okay, let's go back to the picture. Okay, what is this? What is this? I don't know. Lynn, don't say. It's not donuts, which is what I thought it was. Before. Anybody guess in the room? Potato? It's potatoes. Oh. And you can see they're deep frying in the oil. And then they come up Yum. and they get sour cream and they get hot sauce and salsas and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Okay, keep on this. Mm -hmm. Lynn, this is for you. Caviar. So Friday night, I went to a dinner at... Mission 19. How do you say 19 in Spanish? Diez y nueve. Diez y nueve. Javier Placencia is the chef. And he's turning Tijuana and the world on its ear for his food. Can I see me for a second? Yeah. He's doing things there that aren't being done here. He's a young, relatively young chef. He's part of a chef family, his father, and he owned restaurants together. Uh, here in San Diego, he has a restaurant in Bonita called uh, Romesco. Mm. And last year at the San Diego Wine and Food Festival, the thing that I ate at uh, Romesco was the best thing I ate in the entire day. It's amazing. Anyway, there was an eight-course dinner at his restaurant. This was not his dish, but, uh, but a chef did this. So what is it? Okay, so the bottom layer, the white, is, is yogurt. Okay. The brown sort of floating in is caramel. In the center, that sort of rectangular stark part in the center is essentially like a, a cake brownie-like thing. And then that lattice work on top are sesame seeds that have been like, I don't know what they've been mixed with, but they've been put on... Uh, like parchment or a uh, pat lint, mm. and then dried and lifted up. So it's a round piece like this, all that lattice, set down on top. And what's missing from this picture is the mole ice cream that they set right in the middle. Oh, oh yum. Oh, yummy. Gorgeous, huh? Yes. I hated it. You hated it? I did it? not like one bite of that too thing. Too sweet for you? It was way really? too sweet for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, wait. Next picture. Mm -hmm. What do you think this is? Soldiers. Federales. Can you see what they're carrying? Yeah. Uh, big assault rifles. Here's a better rifles. shot. See that? Assault rifles. You know where this is? That's yeah. my hotel. Uh, oh, my God. Really? That is my hotel. AK-47s. Look at them. Looking at their phones. What's going on? What do I have to do later on? Oh, I have an AK-47 in my hand. So they obviously... Just in case something goes wrong. Well, it's interesting because they told me that they were there because the president of Mexico mm -hmm. uh, had been in the hotel the day before for conferences. Yeah. And there were important people there. And, yeah, this, I mean, this was... But this a is a huge, huge event. This so is they're a huge not showcase for Tijuana. And if Tijuana, they, they're not taking they don't chances. Want, I mean, they don't want, yeah, the cartels making some massive showcase of their power but you walk in, in and, and you, you walk in and you see this yeah you see 10 guys That's they're waiting mess. to do something at a little table that i didn't show off to the side uh -huh. <laughs> ak-47s that's uh, hey you've never been to israel no i haven't and there with completely standard practice israel no, i guess walking you. around everywhere you. with m16s on the buses i hear you i mean everywhere and it's for your safety i so. did that at no time did i feel unsafe in uh, tijuana that's good. There might have been about a three-minute period when I was in the back of a pickup, when I was in the back of an open pickup truck driving about a mile with like eight other drunk chefs. <laughs> it's a little scary. Just for a second, oh I was like, <laughs> is this a good idea? Yeah. Should we be doing this? <laughs> but we had an amazing time. Okay, this, yeah. this is a taco. The Baja Culinary Festival was also on at the wow. same time. So this is a taco. That's a roasted pepper, so obviously tor corn tortilla, uh, melted uh, Monterey Jack cheese, I'm guessing, and then an open roasted pepper that houses the shrimp that are inside. Can you tell the Jesus, shrimp inside of that? Yes. And then a sauce and avocado on top of that. Okay, that looks unreal. Avocado. 
on top of that. Avocado. Crazy, crazy good. But this thing was maybe the best thing I ate while I was down there. Let's get a closer And this look is, at that. Uh, I can't remember the name of it in Spanish. In, uh, Spanish. Uh, it's kind of intense there. <laughs> it's a, um, it's octopus. Oh, wow. Oh, in Spanish, it's uh, octopus. Wow. <laughs> no, it's not. It's an octopus uh, taco, street taco. This place is called Coco Pele. Nice. And they only have a street uh, outlet. Uh -huh. They're amazing. I think this is the place that Anthony Bourdain said were best tacos he, he's ever had. Wow. And this thing, I could eat every single day of my life. Nice. Until I got sick of them and then I'd eat something else. But, you know, more you get the, sick of it. Eventually. More than the kale salad? That was yeah. the last thing you were going to eat every night. Oh, no, the kale there. salad is so good. I don't know how many people have made the kale salad, and that's it for my picture. Everybody should. Okay, hey, before we bring uh, yeah, 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 yeah. before we bring our guests in, I just want to yeah, remind yeah. everybody that they can go to facebook.com slash Sam the Cooking Guy and interact with us, post it on the walls, and talk to the other people who are watching the show. Today's mm -hmm. National Mushroom Day, yes, so I'm is. making a mushroom mushroom burger, portobello mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. grilled with sautéed uh Button mushrooms mm -hmm. in a teriyaki sauce. Beautiful Jeez. slice of tomato. Monterey Jack cheese melted over top of the whole thing. And I'm doing a whole wheat bun because I feel like I want to be better. Okay, why don't stuff. you introduce our guest right now okay. so we can get to that. So while he's coming up, don't get up yet. While he's coming up, Lynn, <laughs> why don't you play a little bit of the uh, video that I pimped him with a couple weeks ago? Mm-hmm. This is your life. Do what you love and do it often. If you don't like something, change it. If you don't like your job, quit. If you don't have enough time, stop watching TV. If you are looking for the love of your life, stop. They will be waiting for you when you start doing things you love. Stop overanalyzing. Life is simple. All emotions are beautiful. When you eat, appreciate every last bite. Open your mind, arms, and heart to new things and people. We are united in our differences. Ask the next person you see what their passion is and share your inspiring dream with them. Travel often. Getting lost will help you find yourself. Some opportunities only come once. Seize them. Life is about the people you meet and the things you create with them. So go out and start creating. Life is short. Live your dream and share your passion. Okay, this is about the 14th time I've watched that. And it has the exact same emotion for me now that it did then. It's so, so cool. So our guest is Jason Marco, who drew that. I did. Really well, I might add. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And I saw that on Fixtures Living uh, Facebook. Yeah. I immediately put it on my Facebook. And I'll tell you why, a couple reasons. One, I mean, I was taken with the message that you didn't write. I did not write it. Y you, uh, you text, text, text. I wrote it. You, I, I you, hand you call drew it. Hand drew it, right? Yeah, sure. Doodle. But it was the way that it was done. It was the, it was the meaning behind it. And I was so taken with it. And you emailed me. You yes. wrote the Facebook back and said, Well, yeah. I, did you I call mean, me a god? Was that what? I, <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's, that's how I opened. Something like that? Uh, I, I've been a fan for like five years. Like we nice. used to watch you years ago yeah. I used to watch you and to see you randomly post that from fixtures living and they posted it from TEDx San Diego like right, I tried right, to right, trace right, it right. all the way back yeah uh it was just cool to see so I was like okay cool I get finally have like context I get I a lot of email honestly I was so, I was super <laughs> jazzed when you wrote back in fact you took like a while oh yeah and I, I was like oh well he hates me <laughs> or know. doesn't give a shit or Whatever. It was like, you know, when you like your date, you want to date somebody, you call up and you're like, hey, like I really like you and may maybe we could hang out or something. It was terrible because I normally... I just, I I just wanted something. <laughs> Any, I wouldn't take it anything, man. I pride myself in how quick I get back to people. And anyone, yeah. anyone that ever has emailed me, they know I'm, I'm normally yeah. really fast and every day it's been like, oh my God, I didn't email Sam back. And, and I then, finally and, got it and I was right. like stoked. Yeah, it's just awesome. So it, I was real happy that it hits you and it's hit a lot of people. So like, here's way. the thing, you know, uh, J I called 
uh, Jason and I had a conversation on the phone and really what I got out of it, like the piece is about finding your passion. And I feel, I feel blessed that every day I can do what I want to do and I'm passionate about. And when I talk to groups, I end up talking about this because I know so many people do something that they hate. Right. And it wasn't your words that you drew. Sure. But when we talked on the phone. Yes. You do something you're passionate about and you always didn't. Right. And that's how, I mean, that's how Holsty, what, what initially happened was I used that quote mm. on, in a piece and they saw it and just it randomly reached out to me. It was like, hey, we like what you did, but will you do a piece for us? So I, I already, I've been living that mentality for a while. Right. And I reached out to them and which is, which is lucky, which is everything. And I was saying, I, I mean, I did this panel discussion in, in Tijuana for the event. And, and one of the things I talked about was that I said, look, you might not get this if you're in a place where you're not happy or you're not making any money or, or whatever the reasons are. But if you don't like what you do, it affects so much. It affects everything. Right. I mean, it's, it's like the only thing that matters. I have so many friends that don't do what they want to do. Right. Um, or haven't gotten there yet. And I've been fortunate that it's been f almost forced upon me. You know, I, I got laid off at a time when with, with like a thousand of my closest friends was like, what am I going to do? And I freaked out and got another job. And then it was the same kind of thing. I so was where like, was that? So I worked for budget rent a truck. Uh, that's what eventually got me out to California. Not um, even budget rent a car. No, the, the truck one that side. everybody knows the <laughs> truck side. So yeah. I managed like 40 locations throughout San Diego yeah. and I hated my job every day. It, wasn't, yeah. it was just terrible. And let me, let me just say, cause this is how I preface when I say I hated my job. Yeah. It wasn't the job. It was me in mm. that job. Absolutely. Like if you like that, yeah. Then that's all you should do. Absolutely. And there's people that do. And there were people there. The the guy I replaced had been working there for longer than I had been alive. Right. So there were there were clearly that longevity. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of people there that like it. Right. Uh, but for me, it was like time is kind of the most valuable thing we have, right? I mean, you don't you get a certain number of seconds in a day. Once it's gone, doesn't matter if you're the richest guy in the world or not. No one gets that back. Good point, man. So to be to realize that and to go, I'm not going to work for anyone but me, and I'm you know. You only get a certain number of days. What do you want to do with them? All right. And so, so budget kicked your ass to the curb. And I freaked out. And, and when was this? Oh, Put it, man. Uh, uh, three, nine, four years ago. Okay. Four years ago. Okay, maybe. good. Um, it was right after I moved out here. I hadn't even been out here a year. You'd been married then? We had been married. How yeah. long? So. How long I, had you been married when you got booted? Uh, like six months. Oh, my. <laughs> and I know Allie's not mic'd up over there, but what the hell was she thinking? Oh, well, I mean, at the time, we had a nice, rocky entrance in, into yeah, California. But yeah. then as soon, you know, we got grounded and I freaked out, found another job. I got another job really quick. Doing what? Social media work for a law firm, which was wait, so the wait, worst wait. idea. <laughs> was, wait, where's the drawing? Is there drawing? Is there so sketching? Are you doing nudes of Ali every <laughs> single night? Just change your elbow a little bit this yeah. way. What's happening? Yeah, like draw me like one of your French girls. Absolutely. <laughs> but <laughs> that's... That's the after hours show. Mm. Um, no, it, the drawing was in high school. And then I was like, oh, after high school, I figured like you got to get a real job. So I did marketing and social and media. And you stopped drawing? For like eight years. I mean, are you like doodling on like your lunch bag? I was. Budget, that kind of thing? I had a web design client who saw my stuff and they, they were an artist and they were successful. Right. And they had, you know, multi-million dollar house on the beach. And they're like, no, we, you know, I do art and you can actually, and I was like, oh, this is a career. Like people actually do this for a living and, right. and are successful. So I said, what do I have to do? They said, you need a collection. And the next month I had my first like 40 pieces and they all sucked. But they and, and wait, and were they words or were they yeah. actual like drawing things? No, it was all, I mean, the words was the stuff that... Uh, Spoke to you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, there's a type of uh, art or illustration online called kinetic typography. Yeah. Which is, it's the illustration where they bounce words around. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. CeeLo Green did a video that, uh, you know, a lot of people know. Um, Does he not have the craziest short little arms? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's alien-like, isn't it? Yeah, sure, sure. I think that's about right. Yeah, sorry. Um, but that's why his video's words and not him. <laughs> that's why it's right. <laughs> um, but I saw that and I didn't know how to do it. But I figured if I drew it, like hand drew it and recorded it and then just hit fast forward, I could like kind of emulate that. And that's kind of how that process started the the drawing yeah 
And from there, that stuff started selling better than the web design that I was pushing. And, and so, so bring us up to when Holsty started. Holsty reaches out to you. You reach out to them. Yeah. And what is Holsty? Holsty is a design company. They make all kinds of products based around that idea, that manifesto that they have. They have all kinds. I mean, they do upcycled wallets and they do greeting cards. I mean, they do right. Lots their of their messages, stuff. their different messages on things, or yeah. I mean, sometimes it's just like a art piece that's on a wallet. Right. It's mainly around their manifesto, which is the live your dream, share your passion, right? Uh, kind of mantra that they right. they put together. But they issue. They found me. I started a. When I decided I wanted to do this art stuff full time, right. I left the web design stuff and said, okay, I'm going to be an artist. And I said, okay, I need to get caught up because I haven't done art in eight years. So how am I going to do it? And I launched a project, uh, a piece a day art project. I said, I'm going to do an art piece every single day of 2012. Well, hang on, boys. Can you find that site? Yes. Pieceaday.com? Um, it's, it's just textartist.com. It's the main Te site. Textartist.com. Yeah. And that... T-E-K-S-T. -E yeah. And... When I got that idea, I reached out to a company called Art Alternatives, and I said, hey, I want to do this. Will you give me 500 canvases so I can? And I don't know why, but they said yes. Like, I just asked, and they... So you're doing, the, you're doing these pieces on actual canvas? Yes, absolutely. And hang on, my wife just interrupted everything by taking a huge handful of your chips. <laughs> by the way, your tomatillo salsa is delicious. And now she's leaving, giving us the finger. Without doing oh. it, Inga. Bye, baby. That would be the finger way. She's leaving. She's leaving. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Do your thing. Do what you have to do. So you do these actual pieces on canvas. On canvas. So I've done, they're, they're all the same size canvases. They said yes. And I got them and had, you know, took up the entire apartment, but just started working on them and launched a site. And they so saw. So art piece a day is you draw. A different art piece. Based quote. on. Uh, so the first half of the year is whatever I wanted it to be. And. All those sold, and they're quick. all and they're all your text. It's all art. yeah, it's all text art. Text it's all art. quotes or you know the Forrest Gump one you saw is I take quote. Can you Forrest find Gump. that one? Oh my god! I'm glad you like that one. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> that one sold for like really cheap too. I love yes because yeah. it was early in the year. This was early so the, the year. first six months, January first of yes. two thousand and and uh, this twelve. Year. Yes, twelve. The first art piece you do sold sells for, for a dollar. dollar. Yes. And so that was the way the next day, two bucks, Yes, three bucks, four bucks and so on until we get to the middle of the year. And then it was all commissioned work. So anyone who, if, if you have a quote you like, or I'm getting a lot of wedding anniversary and things like that. No, where, what a great idea. Yeah, People do their like vows and look like, at this. Shh, shh, wait, Let's... you never know what you're going to get. Okay, my mama said life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. That's yeah. fucking mm -hmm. brilliant. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, all. I mean, all but I'm your doing... work. Your can we show that picture again? That that final shot. That yeah. is Tom Hanks. Right. Sitting there. It is. Yes. That's, oh wow! Uh, aren't you boastful? Well, no, no. <laughs> Look at you. And all, oh my god! All I am is you know it, it's it's all remixed stuff. I understand. I take it. quotes that aren't mine. I take. I mean, that no, no, clearly, no. I understand yeah. that. You're genius. No, I'm just. I just assemble things that I see. No, but That's you all it put is. it down. Do you? Do you ever? Um, Check the monitor. There it is. I'm looking at it. Yeah. So let me it's ask you: so cool. Is that the first time you drew that? Be honest now. Look at me in my eyes. That was okay. So that piece. Yeah, was here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. Created a stencil based off the image, and then integrate that. You know, integrate the words into that. I don't even know what any of that meant. All it means is I take. No, an it's image. not the first time. No, no. I gotcha. Yeah, but it's beautiful. I pencil it out normally first, then erase it. So I have some sort so you've of. Got, oh, you've got something there. Not, so yeah, not the insides of everything, but just kind of the rough outline. Right, right, so right. So I, you know. Don't mess up. And then you fit the words in. And then I fit the words I in. Got it. Okay. Exactly. Because you know, you can't, I mean, I, I mean, I watched enough of your stuff now. I can't imagine that you can start with a blank canvas. And oh, sometimes, yeah, but and most just of the fit time, everything right. in that you, you right. want to fit in. Right. I have, uh, I found that I have a pretty good knack for going, okay, this paragraph will somehow fit here. And then Spatial I don't know Spatial relationships. How, yeah. I, and yeah. I, I don't know. That's been kind of, a, you know. That's helped. Right. I have a gift for burning my mouth. So yeah. see, we all have something, <laughs> we Jason. All, we all have something. Yeah. yeah. I, I, life's too short, right? If you're not life doing, is too short. If you're not doing what you love, like stop right now. That's exactly right. All right. So Holsty comes to you. Is that right? Is the Holsty piece the one that like really like? Whoosh, 
So pushed the, you. There have been a few. That one was really nice. Yes. Because that was probably one of the first that I wasn't reaching out to people. Like at, at, at the beginning, I was just making stuff and sending it to people. Right. Uh, I had a music video for the band Pepper. I just made it, and they made it their official video, and Sweet. it took off, and it was really? great. Yeah. Okay. Love Pepper. Stop for a second. Yeah. I'm gonna get. I gotta go into the kitchen and start something. Oh, okay. Is everybody cool with that? Yeah, well, we need a second, so why don't no, you No, no, that, no, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So let me say that um, Wednesday night is the finale of the Sam Livecast cooking competition. Woo, yeah, it is. Show that graphic, man. Oh, yeah, we got it. That on. is hot. Boom, baby. Look at that, the finals. It's the finals. Heather versus Dawn. We've been doing a cooking competition, for those that don't know. This will be uh, six this weeks. Be six weeks we've been in, and this is week number seven. And so the, the preliminary rounds, they could make what they wanted. Mm -hmm. The semis, they had to make chicken. The finals, they have to make, they got their instructions the other day. They have to make fish. And when I say fish, I mean fish. I don't mean scallop, shrimp, lobster, Anything in a shell. I mean, actual fish that does this <laughs> when it swims, right? Yep. And I'm sure there's a technical ver uh, description of that. I don't know what it is. It has to be fish, and they have to incorporate bacon somehow because, oh I, because I like bacon. Fish. That is just the, the best. best. Thing there is. <laughs> Somebody wrote and said, you know, you should make them make dessert because you hate dessert. Make them impress you. Yeah. I go, they can make the best effing dessert in the planet. And I will, wouldn't give a shit about yeah. it. Look at that amazing thing that I had at Javier Placencia's Mission 19 the other day that I didn't like at all. It was completely lost on me. Yeah, you're I weird. Didn't want to be, I didn't want to have the food lost on me. Anyway. Fixtures, Fixtures Living. Living <laughs> this Wednesday, Dowdy Street, off of Miramar Road in San Diego. And you can come. You've not been able to come to any of the cooking competitions so far. Mm -hmm. This one you can come to. We start at 6. You want to come early. Come at at least 5.30. We'll be there. We'll be all set up. You can meet Lynn. You can meet Max. You won't meet Sonny, right? No, Sonny will you not You won't be meet Lucky or Haley, right? <laughs> no. Right. The dogs won't be there. They were a distraction last time. They were. There won't be any distractions. It'll just be us. Fixtures and their chefs are going to have some food. I'm going to make the white bean chili that is perfect this time of year. Mm. I'm going to make an ass load of that. You can try that. An ass load. It'll, an ass load. <laughs> Technical amount? Yep. Uh, it is going to be a lot of fun. So, um, fixtureslivingcom Look for their address in San Diego. Please come. We want to see you. We want you to root for whoever you want to root for. And if you want to just root for Max or Lynn, who aren't cooking, root for them. Root for me. Right? <laughs> and I'll tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. What are we going to do? The Holsti... Uh, yeah. What do you call it? A drawing? A, yeah, sure. A piece. Yeah. The Holsty art It's a print. Piece. This one's a print. The Holsty yeah. print. Yeah, it's a letterpress that, print. That Jason did, right? Mm-hmm. That I'm holding in my hands? Yes. We're going to give this away that night. Oh, nice. Perfect. To somebody that comes that night, That's they'll, cool. they'll walk out with this in their hands. Beautiful. And it will be signed by the master himself. Yes. I'll sign cool? It. I'll sign it. Yes, you will. <laughs> All right, ready to go into the kitchen? Yeah, we're ready. Okay, Shall let's we? go into the kitchen, and then I'm going to just start that. I'm going to come back and I'm continue to talk to uh, Jason Marco. All right. Text artist extraordinaire. Go. All right, so check this out. So it's National Mushroom. Wait, something's wrong with your love. Yeah, it says you're on. What the heck? Oh, 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 there it is. There you go. Oh, man. Uh oh, shit. Is that working? No, you were coming back, but no. Is that working? What's this? There we go. Oh, mother. Yes, I'll take chance. Okay. Here. Oh. Shit, now I just pulled out this. Sorry, sorry, everybody. We'll be back in just a second. This is what live production 
But this is what happens when you're in live production. Oh, it's not true. Okay, now we're good. good. You know what the problem good. is? I think it's all my chest hair. Oh my away. goodness. You hairy animal. <laughs> no, it's not. I've got like six. I know. And you, you've got more hair. On, you've actually got less hair on your chest than your legs, which is not possible. Hey, do you have to talk about that? My <laughs> legs? All right. So National Mushroom Day. Oh, I don't yeah. even know what that means. How does that happen? There's National Day for everything. Know, That's but, what we've determined. But what is it? The mushroom board that determines this? Who cares? Yeah. We don't care. The mushroom board. <laughs> it is. It's going to be some lobbyist group lobbies for this so here's what here's what we're doing we're doing two things we're cooking these portobellos that are going to be amazing they're going to be like the meat of this thing double mushroom burgers double mushroom burgers and here's what a portobello looks like right we all know it to be this huge ass giant mushroom right it's ridiculous mm -hmm. and this is inside and i call these fins i don't really know what the proper word is but I don't want them in here. I find them to be a distraction. I don't really like the way they cook. I feel like they burn. So what I do is I take them and I scrape out the insides. And to me, that's the thing to do. Yeah. I don't know if that's the professional thing to do. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, if it wasn't obvious, I didn't go to culinary school <laughs> ever. So I'm going to heat this grill pan right here. And we're going to cook them in here, but I want to just give them a little bit of oil and seasoning first. I'm going to try and not mess up my board by doing this. So olive oil. Your beloved board. Kosher salt, pepper, exactly. Little oil, little oil here, 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 here. Little oil on the inside. Is this this mic that that's I'm hearing? Because I'm really hating it. Okay, well. It's not that bad. You hate it when I talk about problems on the show. <laughs> you really do. I mean, it's, don't think I don't notice that. Well, you just I think you just need to power through it and then... Not draw then, attention to it? Yeah. Well, no, no. It's not about not drawing attention to it. It's well, then just, don't stop me when I start drawing no, attention to it. No, it's just that there's nothing we can do about that right this second, so... Oh, I'm not saying there's anything we should be doing about it. I'm mm -hmm. just saying I hate it when I use, you know... Yeah. Subpar products. <laughs> So here we go. This is hot. These guys are going to go in. They're going to start doing their cooking thing. You're looking to get the grill marks on there? Yes, I'm looking to get some grill marks on this. And just I don't have I this thing. Okay, so there might be some of you out there who are saying, Sam, it's not a burger. It has a portobello mushroom in place of the meat. You know, That's it's a not a burger. No, no, no. It's a good point. Look, I'm not trying to make this in place of the meat. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to make a burger with mushrooms. Okay. Uh, look, I know there's people that say, oh, portobello mushrooms are just like eating a steak. And I say, so then fucking eat a steak. <laughs> don't, don't substitute something because it isn't the real thing but makes you feel better about eating. I mean, if that's what you want to do, then do that. These are just these regular white mushrooms that are already sliced, right? Yes. These guys right here. Sauteing them up. All we're gonna do, sorry, Shan. Putting mushrooms on a mushroom burger. Yes. Yeah, Shannon. Wait. Double mushroom burger. Come on. It's almost incestuous, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Is that wrong? It's, it's like bacon a on weird. a bacon burger. It's bacon on a bacon burger. Okay, so it's all gonna be good. So we're gonna start to do these things. We're gonna get these guys going. We're gonna get the bun. We got some tomato happening. I'm telling you. We did this on the show, uh, Sam the Cooking Guy, when we ate this. We shot at Bell Bull at, uh, at the San Diego Zoo. And it seemed wrong to use animal products at the San Diego Zoo. That's why we did a burger without meat on it. And I'm telling you, it's one of the best burgers I've had in a long time. Right, Shannon? Yes. You're so kind. So delicious. Yeah, I cooked um, peanuts in front of the elephants and bananas foster in front of the apes. So oh I don't think God. I'm that kind. <laughs> I just thought that was a very fun thing to do. That's hilarious. Hey, do we have a second? Yeah. Um, remember, I, I asked you a question earlier about uh, Guy Fieri. Oh yes. And I wanted everybody to take a guess on uh, the live cast, and we can all see what who come who wins. Okay, ask the question. Okay, the question is, how much does Guy Fieri command for a uh, appearance? And I think I guessed seventy-five thousand. You did. 
You guess 75,000, Lynn. Do you have a guess? 25. Okay, Lynn right. says 25. 25 sounds right? No, 75 sounds I think right. 75 sounds right. Yeah, I don't think 25 is even close. Maybe 100. Maybe 100. Maybe 100? Yeah, maybe 100. Yeah. The answer is 100. There we go. It is? Yeah. That's a lot for Guy Fieri, right? Am I on this mic now? Yep. Yeah, you are. You're, oh, there you are. You're good. Thank you. Um, wow, that's a lot of money. It the is. question is, so um, when Max asked me that, I said, Max said, how much does Guy Fieri command? Or demand, would you say? Yeah, I think, he's, I, think I said demand. Demand, but I, and I, I just, said, yeah. so is that what he gets or that's what he asked for? I just meant, yeah. I mean, he's very popular. But say, okay. That's probably what he gets from people he doesn't like. God. <laughs> There's got, uh, it just seems so weird. Uh, okay. There's so this means that there are so there are, there's a very significant portion of a, a, a population of people out there that love Guy Fieri. They love him, you know. They, they love buy, him. They'll they watch they anything. Dig his Look, thing. I was having so uh, Marcella Valladolid from Food Network's Mexican Made Easy mm -hmm. that I spent the last two days with. Right? Yeah. She's adorable. I really like her. She's a really nice person. I like her outlook on life. I like her outlook on business, on people, on everything. Yeah. So I tried to get her to, to, to spill on stage about, you know, people on the <laughs> Food Network. And she just said, in fact, backstage at some point, she said, Guy Fieri show is crazy good. And I go, I know, but Diners, Drive-Ins is one thing, but his cooking show, Guy's Big Bite, it's terrible. I mean, I mean, it sucks. I love Triple D, but right, yeah. Triple D's fine, right. but but guys, big bite I think sucks. And she goes, it doesn't matter if they're fans; they're gonna watch it. Yeah, right. Yeah, What's, yeah. that's what it is. So, all right. So look, I can be over here. I can do some of this. I I need to now start hearing from Jason again on where we were. So, art doodle. This is the thing I've ever had <laughs> on my body, in my plant, ever. No, it's just every time I step, you hear me stepping, which it shouldn't it. happen. Okay, so you're doodling, right? Yeah. You're That's doing good. your thing. Yeah. The Holsty thing happens. Holsty thing happens. Starts to propel you a bit. Yeah. I, People I've start had, noticing. I've had a f quite a bit. Uh, like, it's been one after the other. So I've, I've been fortunate in that I've been able to string enough projects together right. that um, I, I had a friend who asked me to draw all over his car. The BMW? Whoa. Oh, yeah. we have video. We have that video. Yes. Yes. Cool. That was, so uh, does he drive that car now? He does. Well, yeah. So what that was, was it was vinyl wrapped first. They did the piece on it or we did the piece on it over four yeah. days. And then he pulled it off after like a year. But I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. So check this out. Oh, this is the guy, the iWearYourShirt.com guy? Yes. So That's this, your buddy? So this is the guy. So you guys are like marketing like marvels, no? no? He's, I mean, he's in a, another level. Where's he live? He lives in Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. Um, and he, that's, that's basically, I hijacked his idea and said, oh, you wear t-shirts for a living. I'm going to do this piece of day art thing. So how long did this take you? Four days. Working how long each day? Uh... The last day was 27 hours. Wow. Is that hard? How difficult is that? It was, uh, I mean, the, the end, it was taxing. It was like 80 hours total. Over I mean, are you, you're like in the zone. I mean, like here, you're on your back, you're on your side, you're upside down, you're doing the thing. and Yeah, had we known, we would have been elevated. You know, we would have elevated it. Yeah, so you could stand up and do it. <laughs> it well, you know <laughs> to do that next time, right? No. You don't have to play. The, it kind of repeats the, the video. So they can No, but look it. how amazing that thing is. Yeah, it's so me. cool. So, it... Uh, Jeez, Jason. You, I mean, dude, the stuff that you... Look, one of the things that I like most about what I get to do... Just let me take a, a second to say... Look, here's the thing about mushrooms, right? There's been nothing in this pan except the mushrooms... And they have so much moisture in them. Let me just mm -hmm. get something. I don't want to burn the hell out of myself. They have so much moisture in them. Shan, try and go right down here. Do you see this? Wow, pool? yes, totally. Right? No, nothing in there. Nothing, no olive oil, no butter, no nothing wow. in this pan. And, and I'm just going to let them go until the moisture dries up. 
and then they're ready for me to add to them. Ooh, I'm already smelling them back here. Oh, I know. So let's check the let's check these guys. And look right here too. Shit, you see the, the wow. coming out? Mushrooms are full of water, man. Yeah, I did not realize. It's like so bacon. Now, bacon grease gets pretty out of control when you're <laughs> right. putting it in a pan. Right, but look at what we've got. We've got some nice, nice grill marks on here. Beautiful. I mean, I know like the vegans and the veggies out there are going crazy. Our friends at the Miho Gastro Truck make an unbelievable port the Bello Burger, they call it. Right. Mm. This one's going to be really good. I don't know if it's going to be as good as theirs, but... Those guys are professionals. They are. Professional truck people. That they are. Are you coming back to sit down? Cool. Yep. Right. I'm just going to go back and forth with this if that's nice. okay. Nice. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so. Car. Let me ask you about yeah, yeah. car. So you do the car. Yes. Whirlwind. I mean, it was four days. It was crazy. It was great. And it's been all over the place and everybody's seen it. And Yes. He drove it around. I mean, he drove it around. That was his daily driver. And, wow. and so have you gotten business from the car? Uh, you the yeah, I actually I sold a piece today. And the, the reason they bought a piece off the calendar was because they saw that car video. And wow. Liked it. So let, just let me finish this. You can go to techstartist.com, uh, right? Yes. And go to the, the Art Piece a Day project. Yeah, if you click on the calendar at the top, they can, you can we show see. that calendar? Yeah. Check this out. So, so if you go back at any point. So you go back to January, for example. You click on January, you'll see what people wow. paid for those, right? Yep. And they're all the same size canvas. It was all 12 huh. by 24. 12 by 24. Canvas. Yeah. If you come down now to, where are we, October 15th. Yeah. Today's piece isn't up yet. Oh, uh, is yesterday's piece? No. Well, actually, yesterday's. So Excuse yesterday's me. is crazy because it got turned into a wedding cake. Look at that. What does it say? Sold for 200 so, bucks. What? Yeah. So the guy commissioned a really fancy cake company to actually hand, take my design and hand paint it onto a cake. Shut up. Yeah. And that Dude, was. That how was, crazy is that for you? That was. It's, it's insane. Okay. Like, how about Jason Mraz? Yes. Okay. So tell me how that happened. So you're local. Yes. Jason Mraz is local. Yes. He's, well, uh, what the fuck hasn't Jason Mraz been here? Jason. <laughs> he probably <laughs> likes us. Yeah, he probably does. Jason, come hang out with us, man. Could you hook that up for us? Oh, absolutely. No, I, I could talk to him, <laughs> but I, you know. He's, you just he, pick up the phone and call Jason Mraz and yeah. say. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a great guy. I met him a couple years ago. Of course he's a great guy. Um, I mean, he's, he's the mellowest, like. Wow person i've ever met cool. it's so true. so look let's look at the stuff that you yeah, did for jason absolutely you did a series of posters yeah series for of his concert posters for his u.s tour and so this is not just you with like words and text and art now this is look at you doing other things wait are there words so, in his face yeah so that piece the entire top half which is you know that's red rocks the red right rocks there. right and, and then and down below Boulder. that's that's all a song. I believe that song was uh, off his new album. It's called like "I Won't Give Up." I took the lyrics to the song, built the venue. Let me ask you: Could you take one of my recipes and do that? Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. Wow. Who so, are you, man? <laughs> I'm just a guy. How much? How much do you love getting up every day? I love it. And check this. Check this out for um, coming full circle. I found this out Friday when I was at Fixtures Living. Yes. Unbeknownst to me. Fixtures Living had been talking to you yes. about taking their mantra, mm -hmm. live joyfully, yes. and turning that into a piece. Absolutely. Awesome. Hey, wow. when you shoot these things and that, what kind of camera Who, do you have above your table and shit? So I used to use like something like this with a camera with an like, arm. totally built on the end. Uh huh. Right. Get your mushrooms. See, the mushrooms are now dry, right? Look, nothing. And now they're starting to get this color. Beautiful. And they smell amazing. By the way, I got a cup, uh, an email from, uh, let me think about this, Terry and Gay Wynn that live like way across Mississippi. the country. Mississippi. Mississippi. And they bitched me out. What? I think it was them. They bitched me out because they go, we like the hour show and now you're making it shorter. Oh, man. And what are we supposed, we've set our lives around the show and we come home, <laughs> we watch and now we're getting less, and that's <laughs> pissing them off. And <laughs> Sorry, Terry and Gay. <laughs> All right. Look how beautiful, right? Amazing. Oh, oh come on, man. Yeah. Look it at looks like a piece of beef. Here, right? I did, but just don't say it tastes like steak, because that would be the wrong thing to yeah. say. Yeah. 
So at this point, we're getting we don't a little have smoky in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn the fan on, and now I don't want to because it's going to be too loud. Wait. There you go. Yeah. It's a beautiful night here in San Diego. It's like we're, San Diego's trying to hold on to the last little bit of winter as it can. Summer. Or last little bit of summer, yeah. So here's this, this teriyaki sauce I dig because it, see, I don't care who's you buy, but there's, this is a little bit thick. I don't like those like full-on liquid watery ones. So this is all I'm going to add to the mushrooms. Watch this, yeah. Mmm. Wow. For me, this, this burger is reminiscent of a burger that Kelly and I, an actual beef burger that Kelly and I had when we were in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. That uh, on the beach on our honeymoon, that was this teriyaki burger that was stupidly unbelievable. All right. So now this has got, I gotta just heat this thing up. Is that for so the buns? Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm You're so okay. It's fine. I'm so sorry about this. No, no. it's not okay. I didn't I'm even really hear it. I'm really unhappy about it. By the way, we have a Roku channel. Oh yeah. If you own Roku, you can get the Sam Livecast on its own channel with like the last 25 shows. You can watch them big as life right there at home. How awesome is that? Yeah. What a Roku is is it's a streaming video player. So basically, it's a little box. You connect it to the internet, you connect it to your plasma TV, and you can watch all online content, including ours. Including ours, but then there's also a whole host of movies that oh, you yeah. can watch Mo and all Netflix, kinds of stuff. Netflix, HBO Go. Uh, if you understand what Apple stuff. TV is, it's like the competitor to Apple TV, is that right? Yeah. So we've aligned ourselves with Roku because it's a much cooler name. Roku. Hey, what we're on that? Apple TV I don't know also. What that is. <laughs> uh, we are on Apple TV, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We're That's everywhere. Cool. All right, so we're heating this up, we're almost there. We need some big slices of tomato for this that I'm going to uh, cut now. Yes, please. Uh, all right, so just let me keep, I mean, this could be like a three-day conversation, man. <laughs> Let's make yeah. it happen. Okay, so let me ask you this. What have you done? What's, what's the thing that you've done that has turned you on the most, that made you say, wow, this shit is really happening for me? Um... That's a great question. You know, I, it's like every piece is different. Uh, so I like kind of the process of each one. There has, I, as far as like what project, creating the piece on the car was, yeah. was insane. Project, I bet, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. The, car insane. The Mraz posters were um, just amazing, but it's kind of been the whole journey. It's like, it's been the whole ride. Every single, every single time you get an email in your inbox, it could be right. someone else who wants to do something. Could be yeah. Sam the cooking guy that you're going to ignore for three fucking days. <laughs> Let me ask you this. What, yeah. What's the call that you would get or the email that you would get right now that you would do absolutely for free? Because you want to do it so bad. You just want to be part of it and align yourself with it. Um, there's a lot of good foundations out there. So anytime right. I do, I do a lot of pieces and donate them to charity and raise yeah. for causes. When Junior Seau thing happened, yeah. I did a piece that raised, you know, 500 bucks for his foundation. Hmm. Uh, what was he, that? What was that picture? It was him. It was just him and words. Yeah, and helmet and he, had, and he had like his favorite quote. Yeah. It was like live for today, pray for tomorrow, hope for the rest. Um, I may be butchering the quote. Uh, oh, but that's okay. But, but live for today, pray for tomorrow. That's hard right. given that situation, so, right? I mean, I'll do anything for free. As long as I've got my rent paid, I'll do anything for free that helps a cause that I'm behind. Uh, I've got a school out in New York that is like really taken to my art, like all the students, sixth, seventh graders. Yeah. Uh, I've done pieces for them and just given them to their students, but it really like I think Charity Water is a really big one. If you've never heard, it's a company called Charity Water. They build wells in Africa and elsewhere. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so jazzed to hear that you believe in that giving back part. Well, that's, that's everything. It, that's it's everything. It it's what you yeah. have to, it's what we have to do. I mean, I wouldn't be where I am now if Art Alternatives didn't say like, hey, here's canvases, take it, go for it. So anytime I can right. empower someone to, you know, do their own thing, that's kind of what it's all about. Right. Uh, let me just interject for a second. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some butter. I'm going to butter this bun because a little fat on here, we don't really have any fat yet. And a little fat is not going to be a bad thing. I'm going to start browning this bun right here. But now on these really beautiful uh, 
portobello's look how gorgeous right amazing i'm going to do this back up shan for a sec i'm going to melt a little uh monterey jack cheese oh yes please right why not right yeah yes please <laughs> that was cute right on top boom boom that's kind of a big boy isn't it that Maybe is a large a piece couple. oh it's a geez. crazy huge portobello oh man the smell is just getting Barn, me. going here we're almost done the charges are doing well oh what is the charger score not that I Jason don't want to say it in care. case anybody's watching. Oh, yeah, don't. I don't want to say it in case anybody's watching that doesn't want me to say it. Okay. We've got this, we've got this. Who wants mayo? Yeah. Yep. A little bit of mayo. What kind of should we use? Regular or QP? QP. Well, is that Why even a question? We? I just wanted to see what kind of reaction I would get from you clowns back there. <laughs> and we're going to need a little, a little pepper. I feel like the teriyaki sauce is going to have it, its own level of salt on it. Jason, I'm going to have you, uh, in a second, come. You can have a bite with me. We'll oh, take yes. a bite together. Let's do it. So uh, are you where you thought you would be at this age, at this tender age of 27? Um, I mean, it, it's like, it's kind of ridiculous. Every day it's like just right. vacation. I surf almost every day. I do, you know, I wake up and go to bed, and in between I do what I want. So, like, I can't ask for anything more. Great family, and and, great and you know what the crazy thing is? This came out of you being fired. Oh yeah, I was laughing the day I got laid off. I was laughing. My boss was crying. It was a, it was a really weird, strange situation. But I knew <laughs> you were laughing because on some level you were so glad that you were getting so away happy. from there. Oh yeah. Though you didn't know what the next step was. Absolutely. I just knew that, and and I don't fight it anymore. I used to freak out if I, you know, couldn't find an idea or whatever. I find myself up at two in the morning. It's like. You, Whatever path you're on, you kind of got to get there. You so. kind of got to get there. But I say this. If you like what you do, you'll do it better than the next guy. Yes. If your job is sweeping floors yeah. and you like sweeping floors, you'll sweep floors better than the guy beside you who yeah, hates yeah. it. And when it comes time for a promotion, you'll be the one that gets promoted, Absolutely. not him. Absolutely. And the one with passion, it always... That person, a uh, huge uh, kind of mentor person I've been following is Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk, right. Hey, wow. Um, we were just talking about him. Yeah, we, he's, he's got a peace of mind. He's given me huge shout outs um, cool. through, throughout time. And uh, we've got something we're going to work on at some point. Really? Oh, well, so guy. you don't even need oh, me. Now we, need, yeah, to, uh, no, on, now we need to outdo Gary Vaynerchuk, <laughs> all right? Stupid no, Gary, we're Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary. By the way, if you don't know him, he's just a really significant guy. In the, Absolutely. In the, first in the wine field on the internet, and now in the motivational, yep. get your shit together, don't do something that you hate kind of world. Shannon, I just want to um, melt this cheese a little better. So the way I'm gonna do it is I got a little water in this pan here. You get this hot. Steam. I'm just gonna do a little steam thing. I'm oh, gonna do cool. that. That's a I got cool these ready. Trick. Oh, I forgot about the buns. Crap. Oh, geez. oh god. You're and I can't oh. even grab them now. Look out! Now it's too hot. You are the worst. Oh, oh they're, they're actually they're good. okay. Oh, they're it's actually perfect. okay. Yeah. yeah, they're really good. They're, they're more crispy than okay. Nice. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go right. We're gonna go right over here, Shannon. Are these? Oh, that's not open faced. No, it's not open faced. No, no, no. This is one. Okay. I'm only making one here. Uh, I just want to remind everybody that uh, they can go to Holsty.com. Yep, Holsty.com. Holsty.com, and uh, the people at Holsty have been kind enough to give a promo code. Yes. For anybody who wants to buy something, they can get 20% off. Oh, wait, it may just be the print. It may just, uh, it be, may just be the print. But uh, yeah. you enter the promo code, the cooking guy, all one word, and you'll get 20% off. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so tomato, we've got the bun, crispy, right? We've got the tomato. We've got this. Oh, nice. Turn this off. We put on this up here. Come, young man. Come, come, come. We won't really be able to hear you all that well. But now we've got this giant. Oh, mm. wait. Let me use this guy. Hold on. So we can still see what's going on under here. <laughs> the giant. The portobello. Yes. Off, off. Everybody's off. Back up for one sec. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it does. I'm it does smelling smell it all good, the way back it? here. Yeah, I'm telling you, 
a good teriyaki sauce, and I don't care whose you use, I'm just saying get one that's a little bit thicker because you'll be really glad you did. It'll just be amazing shit. And then I said some pepper. That looks ridiculous. Get a pepper grinder if you don't have one. Get a super hot top bun. Wow. And then we're going to use this. Ow, ow. Ow. Okay, wait. I can't even hold my fingers there anymore. Jeez. It's too hot. I'm going to burn my mouth, huh? No, we're all burning our mouths here, man. <laughs> oh. Look at, look how pretty. Yeah, right? I only beautiful. want a little bit. Nice. Bite for the maker? Bite for the maker. Oh. All right, dude. Grab one. We care if you burn ourselves, right? Here we go. Sacrifice for the show. Uh, happy National Mushroom Day. Yes. It's a uh, mushroom mushroom burger. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> You guys are kind of like long lost so twins. <laughs> well, we're kind of like, and I didn't, I intentionally. <laughs> I think I burned my thumb more than my. I know, it's <laughs> terrible. But you know what? Oh Holy so shit, hot. it's so good. Welcome to the live cast. Why do we have to do that like that? <laughs> anyway. Because you have to. Because this is your passion. You know what's crazy? Like just a piece of that portobello by myself. If nothing else, it's kind of like a steak. <laughs> <laughs> It really is. Thank you for being here. Go to holste.com. Mm -hmm. H O L S T E E, mm -hmm. right? We don't know what you can buy, but put the promo code the cooking guy. The cooking guy in and you can get at least 20% off this piece. Yes. And maybe other stuff we don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Follow Jason, techstartus.com. Yes. Sign up for at the bottom of the site now let me run to the microphone. Uh, just right here, right here. Okay. If you run to the bottom of the site, it says sign up for early access for 2013. Like, almost... Wait, are the first six months of 2013 right going to be a buck, right. two buck, three buck, four bucks? It, I'm going to do something. Something. You don't have to do that. It's going to be... It's no pressure, be good, man. Though. Okay. So, go, sign up. It's at the bottom. It says want early access. I don't email you for anything else. It's like just for that project. And by the way, I would say, if, you, if you're thinking about something to give as a present or the holidays... If you love... Somebody could give you a quote, oh, yeah. your favorite song, and you would turn it into... Movie quote, song lyrics. John hours. Lennon singing... Absolutely. Right. Whatever you want it to be. Be amazing. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you for being hey, here. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm a me. huge it's fan. Happy to, you know... I touch you, but I have, like, tech teriyaki yeah. all over me. No, it's... All right, Wednesday night, we're at Fixtures Living here. You can come. Be there live. We're going to give away his work to mm -hmm. somebody that's there that night. Oh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. Roku people, we love you. Thanks for being there. See you Wednesday. Peace Bye. out.